Hi, I'm Bill Brownchick, and if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with the basic idea of a self-directed IRA. You're exploring new ways that you can increase the returns inside of your retirement plan so you can have a prosperous and an early retirement. You probably also are watching this because you know that traditional types of investments like bonds, CDs, mutual funds are not going to produce the right kind of returns that you're looking for to have an early and prosperous retirement unless of course you want to retire at 106 years old which I'm sure you don't so investing in things like real estate in your IRA can produce substantial returns to get you to your retirement goals quicker and easier now the only challenge with investing in real estate is it's not like you take the money out of the IRA, put it in your personal account, and then go buy real estate to rent or fix and sell. It all has to be done within the IRA account. So basically what we have here is there's an IRA account with an IRA custodian. Okay, so you are the owner of the account, and what you do is you direct the custodian to deal in investments such as real estate, for example. If you wanted to buy a home to fix and flip or fix and rent, you would, as the owner of the account, direct the custodian by writing uh, a letter of direction. You fax it in or mail it into the custodian, pay a fee with that, and then the custodian will do what's necessary to acquire that real estate, such as wiring money to the closing agent or title company or attorney closing the deal, and sign whatever documents are required for closing. After that, if you were going to, let's say, rent the property, the checks have to be made payable to the custodian. The custodian would put it in your account each month, and you'd have to fill out a letter of direction for the custodian to do that. If you had to pay uh, a mortgage on it, uh, taxes, insurance, repairs, maintenance, so forth, then each one of those transactions would be a direction letter to the custodian to cut those checks to those various parties. Now you can see this can get pretty cumbersome on a property. Imagine having a dozen properties and doing this regularly. This really can become not only a, a paperwork nightmare, logistical nightmare, but also it could be expensive because each transaction does involve a fee. Also, if you want to act quickly, like you're going to go to an auction and buy a property and you need the money that day, it's very difficult to get the custodian to move that quickly. These custodians these uh, that handle self-directed investments like real estate are more boutique. They're not big operations like Fidelity or Schwab where you can just click the trade. It's not that simple. have to fill out a form. They process it. It takes a few days. So the solution that we've come up with is a way to control your IRA without breaking any rules. You can't put the money from the IRA, you can't direct the custodian to put it into your personal or business account and do deals out of there. That would clearly be a distribution. But what you can do is direct the custodian to invest the IRA account into an LLC so it would become the member of a newly formed LLC and then the money would go from, there's a, there's a checking account here for the LLC, and the money at your direction would get wired from your IRA account to the checking account of the LLC. Now, the LLC would then appoint you as the manager, not the member, but the manager, and then you as manager have the checkbook to do investments and real estate deals inside of the LLC. Now remember, the same rules apply whether you're investing directly out of your IRA account or your LLC. You can't do any disqualified transactions. You can't do any work on behalf of the LLC on, on the property. You can't take a management fee. You can't take any personal benefit. Uh, in fact, some custodians don't even like this because now they don't see what you're doing. The other reason they don't like it is they're getting fees for every transaction now because there's only one transaction from the IRA account to the LLC and then everything happens in the LLC. So every time you collect a check or write a check in and out of this account, you're not paying a fee to the custodian. Um, but also you don't have the custodian's eyes and ears to make sure that you're not doing something you're not supposed to be doing. So make sure if you do go this route that you have qualified counsel, either an attorney or CPA, who can advise you as to the legality of the transactions that you're doing in and out of this LLC. 
couple of things I want to mention. This LLC can't be one you already own. So if you're already a, 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 the member of an LLC, you can't transfer the membership from you to the IRA account. That would be disqualified as a transaction. You can't be the manager when it's formed or the organizer when it's formed. So it has to be a clean third party who's not disqualified who can form this LLC. Usually that's an attorney who sets that up and then the attorney has to write an opinion letter to the IRA custodian to basically put a stamp of approval and then draft an operating agreement for this LLC that complies with the applicable provisions of the Internal Revenue Code that deals with um, individual retirement accounts and so forth. So to summarize, instead of doing the transactions in and out of your IRA account, you will now invest the money from the IRA account into the LLC. The IRA is the member of the LLC and then you get appointed as manager. Now, now the LLC will buy and rent and sell real estate and pay its bills out of its checking account, collect income in its checking account. And then when you're ready to take a distribution from your IRA, what you do is you distribute the money back from the checking account to the IRA account, to the member of the LLC, and then you would take the money out of there as a distribution once you reach retirement age. If you'd like more information on how to set up one of these, we call it a checkbook IRA, please fill out the form below and we'll contact you to set up a telephone or office uh, appointment where we can explain to you and answer any questions that you may have on setting one of these up and the benefits that can uh, inure to you for using the checkbook IRA. This is Bill Bronchick. I hope you've enjoyed this video.